Hey guys, back you with your girl here, Patriana. So tonight I'll be making um, red wine sangria since now we all stuck at home and just trying to be creative with my time. And now since I can drink more and stay in bed more all day, so why not create my own version of red sangria? <laughs> all right guys, so the one that I'll be using today is called Roscato. So this is a Rosa Dolce, means it's a sweet bread blend. So um, you can just look for like anything that's a sweet bread blend. And um, the reason why I pick a sweet wine, because I mean, first of all, I really enjoy sweet wine, but um, I'm using uh, frozen berries. So this thing got blueberries, cherries, blackberries, and raspberries. So, you know, they're frozen. So back then it cost like three bucks. So, yeah, I put the, I thawed them for like about five, six hours. And then I uh, drained all the water. Now I just put this in the Pyrex glass here. So I'm just adding um, apple slices. So I'm gonna put a whole of Honeycrisp apple just because I really like their taste. And if you use like frozen berries, they're not as um, sweet as the natural berries, so. All right, so put them out. You can keep the skin on. So I'm gonna just cut it like, you know, just like bite size. I feel like this side is a little chunkier, but it doesn't matter. You can put any fruits that you like, and you know, I like mine to be as sweet as possible. All right guys, so that's how it looks like, all the berries. So I already rinsed them. So now I'm just gonna dump it in here in this tall container, pitcher. And then I'm gonna, oh yeah, the apples. So make sure you take out all the seeds. One fail. Oops. <laughs> R.I.P. one piece. Definitely not gonna put that in there. I got one more, should I go? Oh, tough, second move. oh yeah. Oh yeah, because it's all on the floor. <laughs> Alright, that's how it looks like. And I'm gonna put in the wine now. The Roscato. And just dump it in there. And I'm not adding like additional um sugar or anything, it's already sweet. I should have it's the second bottle, but I have lots of wine that I want to drink, so. Okay guys, that's all the recipe. I'll fizz it up in there. That's it? Yep, and um, just gonna, um, since I don't have like a long shaker, I'm gonna use a long knife yeah. yep. and mix it. Just to make sure all the berries are mixed together. <laughs> I can't believe you. No, I'm not trying to kill you, Remy, but it feels good holding a giant knife. Mm -hmm. All right, stay away. Be careful. <laughs> you guys can eat like any type of knife or like whatever. Anyway, so this is how it looks like. I'm just gonna let it sit for overnight. No ice? No, no ice. Cause you don't want to water down the actual wine. And I'm not gonna add any sugar either because it's already a sweet red wine. And I use Honeycrisp apples here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna let it sit in the fridge overnight and drink it tomorrow after work. Chibi, chibi. 